so I guess it jumps us right into the game. Ladies and gentlemen, Spooner Cell Blacklist. Damn. Wait, they're the same uniforms, man. Oh, wait, are they? Security detail, get in here! You gotta go! Ah! Yeah. Ah! We will hunt every single one of you sons of bitches down! Nah, I totally you get think that America part. can't find you? This is so wild. No need, General. We're coming to America. Damn. Anderson Air Force Base. Contract says no weapons. Not on this kind of op. Who needs to know? General McGowan. But this might make you feel better. Little souvenir I picked up in Indonesia. Thanks, Vic. But if I need a karambit for aerial recon, we've got bigger problems. Can't hurt. Hey, where's Charlie with that sat phone? Hey, sorry. Just putting the finishing bits of awesome on this puppy. Signal this skips base so combo loud. completely. What for? I didn't even get to change Keeps any the of the, the settings or anything. Driving. That's why you're here, kid. <laughs> Sam. <clears throat> yeah, I completely see that. Uh, Let's move. They straight up changed the voice actor. Yeah, you might consider Uploading. bringing the, the game down a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna right. mess with the settings too. Once we actually get into it. Right now, I typically Teams, have my games at King. 70, but right now it's all the way down to 30. Ron says go. Bishop says go. Also, we're only getting go. like 30 frames per second. Go. But. Queen says go. Oh Anything boy. Else, Chief? Let Sarah know I'll be offline for a few days. Sarah, she's still single, right? No, that's. I'm gonna take that as a no. Stop Shut. hacking base IT. We're guests here. Yeah, but they make it so easy. Video's up. Damn it! It really is so odd not ha not hearing uh, Michael Ironside. Site F encryption keys. Forty days until expiration. Hostiles are down. Let's go. Bishop's been hit. Jam everything and move out. The blacklist is live. Now. Anderson Tower, this is Paladin 02 requesting permission to lift off. Do you copy? Radio up. Radio's working fine. Anderson Tower, this is Paladin 02 requesting permission to lift off from Chopper Pad Alpha Niner. It's constantly saying saving. Well, we're behind. Fuck the protocol. <laughs> Need to make it back in time from a Gallons Texas Holden game. How do you think I'm paying for the chopper? Leave him. Veda? Veda? <laughs> Veda. Veda. Okay. Like Veda. Like Vader, Veda. Bravo team report. Bravo is go. <laughs> Move in. Exactly the origin. <laughs> That's what I used to do. Um, I, my my previous uh, name used to be Cat Catsass because my name is Cassus. And at one point, somebody said, uh, "Damn!" Holy shit! <laughs> somebody said Cat Catsass. So I threw in the T's mayday, mayday, mayday. and made Alan a cat, cat sass. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, then I changed it to Cassus um, and then added the clay because it sounds like Cassius. Like Cassius clay. So the, here we are at Cassus clay. Yeah. No, it's okay. A lot of people think it's clay, and I'm used to hearing either clay or, or be like Cassis. Shake a light. We're a big target out here. Uh, uh, Vic, give me a hand. I'm stuck. Charlie Sackville. 
Yeah. Oh shit, you guys okay? What the fuck is happening? Chopper's down. We're fine. <laughs> Munitions team uh, must have been hit. Where are you? Well, I'm from the, the U.S., but yeah. Origins is uh, Argentina. There's a signal northwest of you. All right, you sit tight. We'll find the jammer. So I live in like East Coast U.S., but my uh, my dad's family is from uh, Argentina, like literally. What makes you say that? That's what I do. Eyes open, Sam. All right, let's see if we can mess with these settings here. That was a uh, pretty long and interesting intro there. Uh, let's see, we got 2.0 headphones. Let's do 2.0. I mean, headphones. Uh, music, I'm going to bump down to like two. Sound effects, let's bump that to like five. There we go. Now we can bump things back up. <laughs> yeah, they are. Constantly says the game is saving or trying to. Play subtitles. Video settings. Nice, nice. Everything's looking good here. Uh, yeah, we could probably do. I mean, I don't see any reason why we couldn't do uh, Ultra, but let's see. We hit Ultra and back. You want to reset all your... Oh, you have to hit apply, I see. And let me see what uh, frames are actually getting. So right now we're getting about 60. Video. Okay, so it is in full screen. And we have it set to that. Oh, V-Sync might actually be on. Yep, that's why. Uh, I keep forgetting you have to hit apply. There we go. So now, boom, here it goes. A hundred and about 108 is what it looks like. 105. That's not bad. And there we go. All right, let's see if we can get back into the mission. Looks like it's remaining at Guys, good 120 or so. Will give us some cover. Might want to bump up the uh, the audio. Seems like it's a little bit low now. So I'll do seven, and then do like two for that. Yeah, there we go. That's a little bit better. <laughs> Some good old hydrate. Sounded like Katushis. He's right there. I'm on it. Damn. Everyone spread out and keep searching. It's a full on base attack. I noticed that some strangers don't even use them, and I don't know why. Yeah, it's it's kind of new. Um, they a lot of that kind of stuff, like channel points and loyalty points, that used to be like you had to be add something okay, through a uh, like a, a bot in chat, which then they would use it and stuff. But since I Twitch added that a few months ago, some people still really don't prefer it or to use it much. I used to have like uh, a system sort of like it, but I got rid of it because like nobody really used it since not many people knew about it either. But now that it's a uh, yes, get the camera going. Bravo company just back to corporal. They're bringing him down now. Good. Tab for the selection. Uh, I see. Yeah, just give me a corporal down here. This guy looks dead already. Hold on. Okay, ready. Roll the camera. Hey. <laughs> nice. It's a lot better for uh I'll stabilize you. You take out the chair. Oh, I think. Alright, we'll do, we'll do. A lot better for controls and everything compared to the last.
die like anyone else. This is the way they taught me in Miro. Your instructor should be shot. We're going for maximum damage. No pretty special. Okay. Oh! Almost got caught. to mark targets. Ah, there we go. Control to execute. Interesting. Disable that thing? I'm working on it. How's the kid? Don't ask. Charlie, we're in. All right, all right. All you need to do is disable the voltage oscillator and disrupt the competing signal. Just hold still. No talking, okay? Charlie, how about an on off switch? Uh, do you see a blue button? Yeah. Hit it. What are you saying? What are you telling me, buddy? What are you telling me? Jeez. Jammer's offline, Vic. You can't stop the blacklist. Grenade! Damn. Word of a stunning attack on the massive U.S. military installation on the island of Guam. The deadliest strike on a U.S. base since Pearl Harbor. A group calling <laughs> themselves the Engineers has claimed responsibility. Released an internet video complete with chilling footage from the attack to lay out their demands. They're calling the attacks the blacklist. The blacklist. The blacklist. Grim. It looks different. America. This is the blacklist. The blacklist. One new attack every seven days. We, we have one demand. You have oh, soldiers damn. in 153 countries. Bring your troops home. Your troops, your troops home. Now. 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 For every, every week, week, we, we will attack you. We will not negotiate. You will not stop the blacklist. blacklist. You have seven days until the next attack. The, the choice, choice is yours. We, we are, are the engineers. We are the engineers. Oh, shit. What's our status? Paladin 1 and the 4th Echelon team are ready, Madam President, but we can't locate Mr. Fisher. His friend is fighting for his life. Find Victor Cost, you'll find Sam. Hundreds dead in Guam, a countdown to more attacks targeting America. The world is looking for answers, Mr. Fisher, and I don't have any. 4th Echelon needs to find them, and it can't do that without a leader. It's distraught, Vic. Oh, I never realized that was Victor. One of men comes with me, no questions asked. You can have Charlie Cole. Charlie Cole. Is and the new Grim's daughter has recruited one of the CIA's best for mission support. Isaac Briggs. Isaac Briggs. And Grim is out. I don't remember him. She didn't want you on this mission either. Sorry, Sam, that's a non-starter. Nobody works better with you than she does. Welcome to Fourth Echelon, Mr. Fisher. I'll be honest. Up until playing this uh, this Splinter Cell series, I completely forgot that Third Echelon gets demolished, and then he starts up Fourth Echelon. Pretty sweet, right? First time in a plane. No. A debris with this engineer's organization. Nothing yet. Briggs and our contacts are isolating probable candidates. What about the names? American Freedom, American Blood. Potential attacks, each with a timer. Yeah. Five days before American consumption. And counting. We're running analytics to find the target locations as we speak. I'll get you up to speed on the plane. Prototype military transport. Loaded with custom modifications. 
Armory, infirmary, holding cell, every resource that you'd have on the ground. Fully mobile. It's like the good old days. Problem breaks? Just got my subdermal radio put in. Felt like someone used a jackhammer. How do you this like it anyways? Like overall serious. Hey, Sam. Do you want so, to discuss potential upgrades? Later. Walk me through this. I'll explain it News in just a second. Lighting, I just want to uh, watch analytics, this. analytics, photo and video forensics. Plus backdoors into foreign ELIN systems and facial recognition integration from the CIA, NSA, DCS, FBI. All in real time. This is what you were bragging about? The SMI? Strategic mission interface. We've made significant improvements since the early system Charlie worked on. I'll let him get you up to speed. The best thing is... You can control everything. I remember right this here, uh, or from your opsat when you're on the ground. This plane that Impressive. you chill in as a base. Okay, well let me know if you need anything. I'm gonna check out my new digs. Thanks, Charlie. It's pretty cool that they have like a uh, there's an Easter egg of this plane they're in in uh, one of the most recent uh, Far Cry games. So, anyways, um, as far as like games and everything, I gotta say. So personally, back in the day, I. Uh, Double Agent was one of my favorite games and it's still cool but after playing Chaos Theory starting with that one then going to Double Agent was such a change in pace it was like really surprising um, with the route that they went with like the undercover stuff like it was cool it was definitely like a change in uh, gameplay and stuff but Putting those two back to back, Chaos Theory was definitely so much better. Then, um, going to Conviction, I really liked Conviction back in the day. Another game where it was like, okay, um, but playing them back to back and playing Conviction, seeing how like much more of an, an aggressive play style it is, like there's literally like almost no, uh, like, actual stealth and conviction like there is stealth but it's for the most part it's like just beginning your attack like that game is geared towards you hide and cover a got a guard gets close to you you take them down uh in first hand combat and then right after you take them down you tag the other people and then you execute them and you keep going so like literally that game is probably like a 12 hour game but i finished it in just about four hours because of once I got down the game mechanics and it took a it took like two or three missions but it can be done in four hours like literally it was so quick like it was crazy I, I played the entire game last stream and my uh my my time in it it was like only four hours it was like 4.3 hours so that was really fast but still really liked it um yeah i could definitely see like how they went from like I, I never fully played the original splinter cell but uh from playing chaos theory like and playing a small amount of the original one i can see how much more of like a stealth approach and like that's what people really liked i can see why because it was literally focused on like being in the shadows like climbing through rooms okay you can't take anybody out here like that was full on stealth like you could do entire missions without ever getting spotted by any person at all yeah what's going on mansa how you doing also uh thank you for the follow there i appreciate it but literally you can go through the entire mission without a single person seeing you getting to the objective and walking out and nobody even knew that you were there Besides the people that you might have knocked out or put into a corner or whatever it may be. Um, when you got to double agent, you did have some missions that were like that. But um, it definitely felt like it was more of like a kind of aggressive, but also still uh, like you had to stay stealth for some missions. But on PC, it's a buggy mess and I couldn't get through the entire game because of it. Um, one of my saves whenever I loaded in my guy just kept floating in the air. So, uh, yeah Back in the day, I would have told you double agent was my favorite today Comparing all the games chaos theory. I see why it has such a high 
um, a high standard because it literally is like that stealth game. Like you can do everything throughout the entire mission, multiple ways, different alleys, different uh, like taking every guard out or just getting in without taking out anyone and leaving or completing the objective. Like you get, there's so many different ways. Um, and it's crazy for the time that it came out. Um, so I, I would say that one's probably my favorite. I could definitely see like the changes. Um, I'm looking forward to trying this game or well, not trying, but playing this game and seeing like how much more to the roots it went. It went back because I don't remember too much, but I remember some um, like this plane. But as far as like missions and objectives and storyline, I don't remember much. I do remember I remembered conviction a good amount. Um, I remembered some parts of double agent chaos theory. I had no memory of. So like honestly, playing chaos theory, theory from start to finish was like really refreshing for me because like i i don't think i've ever played that game all the way to the beginning to end double agent i have but um it was okay it was good and then uh this one uh or conviction it was pretty good but it, it just took a bit going for it's not really much of a stealth game other than like your first encounter and then we'll see how this one goes it's a perfect stealth game. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to Hi, sweetheart. It's finishing up the series yeah. playthrough of uh, Splinter Cell with this. I saw the news in the Blacklist video and it's... I'm fine. I can't tell you where I am or what I'm doing. But... Of course you can't. But you're okay? And Uncle Vic's okay? Vic... It's part of why I called. Vic got hurt in Guam. Hurt bad. I will say it was a lot of fun going back to um, games like Wildlands and Breakpoint to play the uh, Splinter Cell missions, especially in Breakpoint. Breakpoint, they're really good, I think. Um, especially when you actually throw on the, uh, the third echelon outfit and run around with it. Like some of those missions actually felt like a, a Splinter Cell game. Um, the action ones, not so much, but the ones where it's like, okay, infiltrate this base, uh, find this person, hack this thing, and then leave. That those were pretty good. They can need to come out with a new one. I don't know what the new uh, VR is going to be out, uh, going to be about though. Yeah. So I, yeah, they definitely do. Um, who knows when they actually will or not, but uh, yeah, I think a lot of people have been asking for quite a while now, but I'm looking forward to um, trying that VR. Hey, I'm set. lucky enough where I'll I have stop. a VR headset, so you I can at least uh, check it's it like out whenever it, whenever it does come out. Data transmissions, drone control, scanning. Gotcha. All you gotta do is slave it to the SMI, do a couple of calibrations, and you're good to go. Thanks, Charlie. So it's doing the display thing. We'll do it just like middle. Blacklist missions, fourth echelon, co-op and single player, spies versus mercs, and gone dark intel. Uh, meta game, interesting. Hm. Customize gear. Whoa. I wonder, do people still play uh, Spies vs. Mercs on uh, even today? Not sure, honestly. I'm gonna filter out just the just campaign missions. Customize gear. Check out. So we have gadgets i think we do have some stuff from like the uh, dlc or whatever it may be but we have a noisemaker 
sticky oh yeah i forgot there's like tears and and stuff for this game alpha goggles hey the mobile app put herself blacklist spider bot to unlock this item interesting and they have different camos okay eh op suit classic tactical mesh upper echelon suit ah right right oh i totally forgot let me see if there's any oh okay uh raven alpha lights blue and and 2000 of the 200,000 right now we have 20,000 and that okay so there are some points that you get uh and this is the raven suit that they're talking about i'm not getting to you play and redeem it it's all maxed on graphics and still looks pretty good yeah it definitely does um as far as that like it actually holds up pretty good um with graphics and everything Probably should go with the fourth echelon eclipse suit. Cause you get it's yeah, it's a pretty big upgrade compared to the other one. And you can just do like colors, nah, I'm fine with that. Gloves, same thing, let me guess. I never realized that there's so much like uh customization like this or i completely forgot it at least pants even pants you can change up huh. we're already gonna be like loaded out reduce sounds of footsteps These fourth echelon uh, equipment is so much better. Topaz, navy, classic green, white, gold, amber. White is cool, but I'm gonna stick with the classic green. Pistol. Forty-five, forty. Yeah, we're probably gonna go with the USP forty-five. I'm not going to spend any money just yet because we don't know exactly what we're doing right this second. We'll probably end up going with the... Is there any black market? Damn. VSS. Ooh, that might be good to have. Sniper rifle. If we really need to take somebody out from afar. Special weapon. Stun gun. Tactical crossbow. <laughs> nice all right well we already got a little bit of a, a loadout that's not bad all right let's uh so each mission in a solo campaign takes sam to one closer stop an engineer stop the next blacklist attack before it's too late benghazi libya all right uh before we do that though let me check around on the base see if there's any additional uh things we can do listen sam we have a lot of work ahead of us but maybe we should clear the air history is history that's it like you said we've got a lot of work to do lane upgrades whoa uh sophisticated sensors at assets during missions unlock a radar shown in the hide Unlock prototypes, SMG, and shotgun for purchase. Reveal dead drop locations in the HUD. Faster regeneration. Custom loadout slot. Customize gear in the field. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's definitely upgrade the cockpit. Extend radar range and showing facing directions. 
forgot totally forgot about the upgrades and stuff I think it visually upgrades the uh, the paladin too hey Sam Grim alright let's talk to Grim one more time listen Sam we have a lot of work ahead of us but maybe we should clear the air history is history that's it like you said we've got a lot of work to do <laughs> Grim missions. Okay, so she has specific missions. Something just came in from a contact in Benghazi. I'll follow up with you later. Okay. Briggs, you settled in yet? I'm working on it. I usually get a lot more prep time before I'm wheels up on a mission. CIA is too big to move fast. Operation like this has got to be agile if it's going to work. Understood. Just wish I had a little more planning time. You'll adjust. Check progress. Just curious. Shadow net online. What achievement is that? <laughs> uh, access shadow net for the latest challenges. Interesting. Okay. So this is like, <laughs> I don't know why my name is Ghetto Iguana on this still. So I don't understand. Look forward to working with you, sir. My, uh, my, that used to be like my old school, uh, you play name or something. So it must not read like whatever your current one is. Cause like every time I go into older games, that's what it shows up as. Damn it. Weird. Setup almost complete, Charlie. Yeah, hang on. Oh. <laughs> hey. Hey, Sam, we're uh, pretty much good to go here. Just got to overclock a couple of components and then see if my supplier... You're, you're, yo, what's going on, man? How you doing, man? Let me know if you have any problems. Okay. Pretty tricked out workshop, huh? I'll be able to upgrade and repair most of our equipment, and if we've got enough cash and the right supplies, then I can test out some sick mods for your gear. Sounds like I'm in good hands. You know it. Hey, you need anything right now? Yeah. I want to look into a helmet. Yeah. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Good one. Sam Fisher. Customized gear. Uh, that, you can do that at the other thing, too, though. What are you working on besides annoying Grim? <laughs> Anything I could find on our friends. I got my piece. Uh, I go downstairs and, and find me some food. What nice. They find at the SMI I don't know, but we're going to find out. I don't out. know. One of my buddies is a Pakistani expat living in Yemen. He dead dropped something for me at the embassy there. Dead dropped? So what, he doesn't trust electronic channels? Mm, not with stuff this hot. Last I heard from him, people were coming after it. Tell me you trust this guy enough to send me in there? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Then let's go get it. <laughs> nice work, Charlie. Thanks. That's pretty cool that you can walk up to people and uh, talk to them about the thing and then go from there. Yeah, so this is the uh, <laughs> that's the suit that you can get when you find the this ship in Far Cry. I think it's Far Cry 5. You can run up and uh, grab it and then use it in game, which is pretty neat. All right, let's uh, go ahead and run the next mission here. Start briefing. What do we have in Benghazi? My contact is at a CIA safe house. They've detained a subject with intel on Guam, but no one gets to ask questions until they're done with them. How'd they nab him? They didn't. He just walked in their office. Look, how do we know he's in some psycho with right in? sense of humor? He walked right into his office. There's something you're not telling me? Dude's name is Andre Coben. Does that mean anything? Oh, man. Sam. Whoa, wait. We know this guy? Yep. What we need to know is what would make a wanted arms dealer turn himself into the CIA right after Guam. All due respect, why don't we just leave the interrogation to the CIA? You can forget the company man bullshit, Briggs. You're on our team now. Understood. Am I missing something? He's our only connection to the engineers. We're not trusting this to someone else. Who is Andre Coben? Andre Coben pretended to kill my daughter to give someone leverage over me. Whoa. How 
How is he even still alive? Good question. What's our move, Sam? We're going in. Launch mission. Show me the safe house. Really? Now that's a bad neighborhood. I know, weird, right? Because usually the CIA tries to keep their Middle East ops super obvious. Focus. Your best approach is through the bazaar here. You give the signal my contact departs the safe house, it'll be a clear run at Coben. It always looks easy on a screen, Craig. To be clear, Sam, we are talking about an extraction, not killing him. You're up. Show me viable positions for Overwatch. Best sight lines are here and there. Looks good. Grab a suppressed sniper kit. Am I providing cover or am I taking out a target, sir? Charlie, rustle us up some transport, would you? Send me a blends, panel van. You got it. You didn't answer my question, Sam. You just worry about a viable spot for Axfil. Something here. Everyone clear? Let's make this prep quick. Flight deck. We are go for Benghazi. Oh, snap. It is a pretty cool, uh, like, launch into the mission. Gear starts with smoke and flashbangs, not frags. Uh, okay. Gadgets recommended. Okay. We do have them equipped. We need even have six of them. Wait, there's a drone that you can get? Remote controlled flying recon drone cable. Forgot about that. <laughs> this is where uh, Ubisoft's love for drones began. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and run it. Safe house. I actually forgot that they, uh, there was a new, I think the next episode in Ghost Recon Break, Breakpoint came out. We've got a problem. I've been pinging my contact since he got on the ground. He isn't responding. Briggs. Reach CIA, right? Safe, safe house. I just got here. It doesn't look good. I'm seeing militia all over the plaza. <laughs> I'm getting double agent vibes with this. Plaza. Militia's blocking the front door access. Sam, it's easy to change position. Meet you on the ground. Get eyes from the southwest corner of the plaza. Copy. Moving now. Grim, keep trying to reach our contact. Let me know if you get through. Copy. Can I help you? Bathroom, you got one? In the alley. Any update from your contact? Negative. Militia's everywhere, Sam. Told you this would get messy. Suiting up. <laughs> That's pretty sick. Not gonna lie. Briggs, status. Still moving, Sam. I'm seeing a lot of militia down there. It might get loud. We'll keep it quiet as long as we can. Moving to the side entrance. So, tab. Okay. I see. Night vision goggles, stun gun. Oops. My mouse went to the other screen. Is it going to do that? Okay. Doesn't look like it's going to do that a lot. Oops. Okay, it went to my other screen too. Damn, this last one was heavy. It's the American diet. All these CIA guys eat cheeseburgers and weigh a thousand pounds. I hope he enjoyed his last one. <laughs> Takedowns and weapons fill up your execute meter. You've got to have plenty more. Instead, he came here. It's making me do it. Out of range from right there. Give a beat on what's inside the safe house. Okay. Negative. I'm still moving. Do you want me to? No time. I'm moving in. All right.
So much better. <laughs> <laughs> 